In a quaint village nestled at the edge of a dense forest, there lived an old sage named Elias. He was known far and wide for his wisdom and compassion, and villagers often sought his guidance in times of need. One evening, as darkness fell over the village, Elias emerged from his humble cottage carrying a lantern adorned with intricate designs. This lantern was no ordinary light, it was known as the Lantern of Wisdom, passed down through generations of sages. Curious children gathered around Elias, their eyes wide with wonder, as he lit the lantern and began to tell a tale of ages past. Long ago, Elias began, there lived a wise sage who wandered the world in search of truth and understanding. He carried with him a lantern much like this one, illuminating the darkness and guiding him on his journey. As Elias spoke, the lantern cast a warm glow over the faces of the children, filling their hearts with a sense of wonder and curiosity. The sage traveled far and wide, seeking wisdom from sages and scholars, from kings and beggars alike. Elias continued, and with each new lesson learned, the light of his lantern grew brighter, illuminating the path to greater understanding. The children listened intently as Elias shared tales of the sage's adventures, of the challenges he faced, the knowledge he gained, and the kindness he showed to all he encountered. And so, Elias concluded, the Lantern of Wisdom serves as a reminder that true understanding comes not from the pursuit of knowledge alone, but from the light of compassion, empathy, and kindness that shines within each of us. As the children bid Elias good night and returned to their homes, the glow of the lantern lingered in their minds, filling them with a newfound sense of curiosity and wonder. And though the night grew dark and the stars faded from the sky, the light of the Lantern of Wisdom continued to shine, illuminating the path to understanding for all who sought its guidance. In a bustling town where people of all walks of life lived harmoniously, there resided a wise old all named Oliver. Oliver was known throughout the town for his keen insight and deep understanding of the world around him. One day, as Oliver sat perched atop his favorite tree, he noticed a group of children playing in the town square. They were attempting to solve a large puzzle scattered across the ground, but were struggling to piece together its many intricate parts. Intrigued, Oliver flew down to join them, his wise eyes twinkling with curiosity. What seems to be the trouble, my young friends, he asked. We're trying to solve this puzzle, Mr. All, explained one of the children, but it's proving to be quite difficult. We can't seem to find where all the pieces fit together. Oliver nodded knowingly, his feathers ruffling in the breeze. You see, he began, life itself is much like a puzzle. It is made up of many different pieces, each one unique and important in its own way. And just like a puzzle, it is our job to fit these pieces together to create harmony and balance in our lives. With Oliver's guidance, the children began to approach the puzzle with fresh eyes. Instead of focusing on the individual pieces, they looked for connections and patterns, seeking out ways to fit them together in harmony. As they worked together, the children discovered that each piece of the puzzle played a crucial role in creating the bigger picture. Some pieces were bright and colorful, while others were more subdued, but together, they formed a beautiful and cohesive whole. With patience and determination, the children eventually solved the puzzle, their faces lighting up with joy and satisfaction. Thank you, Mr. All, they exclaimed, their voices filled with gratitude. Oliver smiled proudly, knowing that he had helped them understand an important lesson about life that by embracing diversity and working together in harmony, we can overcome any challenge and create a world filled with beauty and joy. And as he watched the children continue to play and laugh in the town square, he knew that the puzzle of harmony would always hold the key to a life well lived. In the heart of a sprawling meadow, there stood a magnificent willow tree known as the Whispering Willow. Its graceful branches swayed gently in the breeze, and its leaves rustled softly, as if whispering secrets to the world. One day, a young girl named Lily stumbled upon the Whispering Willow while wandering through the meadow. Intrigued by its beauty, she approached the tree and sat down beneath its branches, seeking solace from the worries that weighed heavy on her heart. 
as Lily sat in silence, listening to the gentle rustle of the leaves and the soothing murmur of the wind, she felt a sense of peace wash over her. It was as if the whispering willow was speaking to her, offering comfort and understanding without saying a word. In the embrace of the whispering willow, Lily found solace in silence. She realized that sometimes, the greatest wisdom can be found not in words, but in the quiet moments of reflection and introspection. From that day on, whenever Lily felt overwhelmed by the chaos of the world, she would seek out the whispering willow, knowing that in its embrace, she could find the peace and clarity she sought. And as she sat beneath its branches, lost in thought, she felt a deep connection to the tree and to the world around her. For in the silence of the whispering willow, she found solace, strength, and the courage to face whatever challenges life may bring. In a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and whispering streams, there lived a humble sparrow named Pip, despite his small size and plain appearance. Pip possessed a remarkable gift of sweet and melodious song that filled the air with joy. One day, as Pip perched on a branch overlooking the village square, he noticed the villagers bustling about their daily lives. Some were tending to their gardens, others were busy at work, while children played and laughed in the streets. Inspired by the beauty of the world around him, Pip began to sing. His song was simple yet filled with warmth and tenderness, echoing through the village like a gentle breeze. As the villagers heard Pip's song, they paused in their tasks and listened, their hearts touched by the beauty of his melody. They realized that true happiness could be found not in grand gestures or material wealth, but in the simple pleasures of life the laughter of children, the beauty of nature, and the sweet song of a humble sparrow. From that day on, Pip's song became a beloved part of the village, weaving its way into the fabric of everyday life. His melody lifted spirits and brought comfort to those in need, reminding the villagers to find joy and beauty in the simplicity of each passing moment. As the seasons changed and the years passed, Pip's song continued to ring out across the village, a timeless reminder of the power of simplicity and the beauty that surrounds us each day. And though Pip himself may have been small and unassuming, his song touched the hearts of all who heard it, filling their lives with love, laughter, and the sweet melody of the sparrow's song. In a tranquil forest, nestled among tall trees and colorful flowers, there lay a serene pond that shimmered like a mirror under the golden rays of the sun. Within this pond lived a small pebble named Pete, who longed to make a difference in the world. One sunny morning, Pete noticed a family of ducks swimming in the pond, their cheerful quacks echoing through the stillness of the forest. Inspired by their joy, Pete decided to embark on a mission to create ripples of goodness in the world around him. With a determined leap, Pete plunged into the water, sending ripples cascading across the surface of the pond. As the ripples spread outward, they touched the lives of all who dwelled in the forest and birds in the trees, the rabbits in their burrows, and even the trees themselves. With each act of kindness and generosity, Pete's ripples grew stronger, weaving a tapestry of goodness that enveloped the entire forest. From helping a lost butterfly find its way home to sharing food with a hungry squirrel, Pete's small actions had a big impact on the world around him. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, Pete's ripples of goodness continued to spread, touching the hearts of all who crossed his path. And though he was just a small pebble in a vast pond, Pete knew that even the smallest acts of kindness could create waves of positive change in the world, and so, as the sun set behind the trees and the forest grew quiet once more, Pete closed his eyes and smiled, knowing that he had made a difference in the world simply by being kind. For in the end, it wasn't the size of the pebble that mattered, but the size of the ripples it created and Pete's ripples of goodness would echo through the forest for generations to come. Once in a bustling village nestled amidst rolling hills, there lived a young girl named Lily. Despite having little material wealth, Lily possessed a heart full of gratitude for the blessings in her life. 
One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden glow over the village, Lily sat beneath a towering oak tree, reflecting on the day's events. Suddenly, a gentle voice spoke to her from the branches above. Lily it whispered, I am the spirit of gratitude, and I have come to offer you a gift. Lily looked up in astonishment to see a shimmering light descending from the tree, forming into a beautiful crystal pendant in her outstretched hand. This pendant, the spirit of gratitude explained, will help you recognize the blessings in your life, no matter how small. Wear it always, and you will find joy in even the simplest of moments. Grateful for the gift, Lily fastened the pendant around her neck and felt its warmth spread throughout her being. From that moment on, she began to see the world with new eyes, filled with wonder and appreciation for the beauty that surrounded her. Each day, Lily found countless reasons to be grateful, the warmth of the sun on her face, the laughter of her friends, the song of the birds in the trees. With each blessing she counted, her heart swelled with gratitude, and her spirit radiated with joy. As the seasons changed and the years passed, Lily's gratitude only grew stronger, enriching her life in ways she could never have imagined. And though she faced challenges and hardships along the way, she always found solace in the simple act of giving thanks. And so, the gift of gratitude became Lily's most cherished possession, a constant reminder of the abundance of blessings that filled her life each and every day. And as she shared her gratitude with those around her, she found that the more she gave thanks, the more blessings she received in return, creating a beautiful cycle of abundance and joy that touched the hearts of all who knew her. In the heart of a lush forest stood a magnificent oak tree known as the Tree of Patience. Its branches reached towards the sky, casting a comforting shade over the woodland creatures that sought refuge beneath its boughs. Many years ago, when the forest was still young, a tiny acorn had fallen from the branches of a passing bird and landed at the base of the oak tree. Despite its small size, the acorn held within it the potential to grow into something truly remarkable. With each passing season, the acorn buried itself in the rich soil and began to send out roots, anchoring itself firmly to the earth. Slowly but surely, it grew into a sapling, its tender leaves unfurling to catch the sunlight filtering through the canopy above. As the years went by, the sapling grew taller and stronger, its roots delving deeper into the earth and its branches stretching ever upwards towards the sky. Through seasons of sunshine and rain, of wind and snow, the sapling endured, learning the art of patience with each passing day. And so, as the sapling matured into a mighty oak tree, it became known as the tree of patience a symbol of strength, resilience, and unwavering perseverance. In times of hardship, when the forest faced drought or disease, the tree of patience stood tall and steadfast, offering shelter and solace to all who sought refuge beneath its branches. And in times of plenty, when the forest teemed with life and abundance, it shared its bounty generously with those in need. As the seasons changed and the years rolled on, the tree of patience remained a beacon of hope and inspiration for all who dwelled in the forest. And though its leaves may wither and its branches may bend, it knows that with time, it will grow stronger still, for true strength lies not in resisting change, but in embracing it with patience and grace. In a quaint village nestled in the heart of a lush forest, there existed a remarkable phenomenon known as the Circle of Kindness. It was said that whenever an act of kindness was performed, it would create ripples that spread outward, touching the lives of everyone in the village. One sunny morning, a young girl named Mia stumbled upon the Circle of Kindness while exploring the forest. Intrigued by its beauty, she reached out and plucked a flower, intending to admire it for herself. But as she held the flower in her hand, Mia noticed an elderly woman struggling to carry a heavy basket of groceries nearby. Without hesitation, Mia rushed to offer her assistance, her heart filled with compassion. The elderly woman's eyes lit up with gratitude as Mia helped her carry the basket to her home. 
In return, the woman gifted Mia with a warm smile and a handful of freshly baked cookies, thanking her for her kindness. Unbeknownst to Mia, her act of kindness had set the circle of kindness in motion. The elderly woman, touched by Mia's compassion, decided to bake extra cookies and share them with her neighbors, spreading warmth and joy throughout the village. Inspired by the woman's generosity, the neighbors in turn performed their own acts of kindness, helping each other with chores, sharing food with those in need, and offering words of encouragement and support. As the days passed, the ripples of kindness continued to spread, weaving a tapestry of love and compassion that enveloped the entire village. And with each act of kindness, the circle of kindness grew stronger, creating a bond of unity and goodwill that connected everyone in the community. Mia watched in awe as the village blossomed with kindness, realizing the profound impact that even the smallest acts of compassion could have on the world around her. And as she joined her neighbors in spreading love and kindness, she understood that true happiness could be found in giving to others and building a community bound together by the circle of kindness. In a peaceful garden, there lived a wise and serene cat named Zen. With eyes that held the wisdom of ages, Zen spent his days basking in the warmth of the sun and observing the world around him with quiet contentment. One day, a group of young animals approached Zen, curious about the secret to his calm demeanor. Zen, how do you remain so peaceful and content? Asked a young rabbit named Rosie. Zen blinked slowly and replied, it is simple, my friends. I have mastered the art of contentment. The animals listened intently as Zen shared his wisdom. Contentment, he said, is not about seeking more or chasing after desires. It is about finding peace and happiness in the present moment, exactly as it is. With Zen's guidance, the young animals embarked on a journey to discover the true meaning of contentment. They learned to appreciate the beauty of each passing moment, a gentle rustle of the leaves, the warmth of the sun on their fur, and the joy of simply being alive. As they embraced Zen's teachings, the animals found that true contentment came not from external possessions or achievements, but from within and from cultivating a sense of gratitude for the blessings that surrounded them each day. And so, under the guidance of the Zen cat, the animals learned to let go of their worries and fears, and to find peace and happiness in the simple joys of life. And as they basked in the warmth of Zen's wisdom, they knew that true contentment lay not in the pursuit of more, but in the acceptance of what already was. In a land where mighty mountains kissed the sky, there stood a towering peak named Everest. Its majestic presence seemed to whisper tales of courage and resilience to all who beheld it. One day, a young goat named Greta found herself at the foot of Everest, her heart filled with trepidation. She longed to climb to the summit, but the daunting height of the mountain filled her with doubt. As Greta gazed up at Everest, she felt a gentle breeze brush against her fur, carrying with it the mountain's message of strength and perseverance. Stand tall, little one, the wind seemed to say. For even the mightest of mountains face challenges, but it is in overcoming them that we discover our true strength. With newfound determination, Greta began her ascent, her hooves steady and her spirit strong. Along the way, she encountered steep cliffs and treacherous terrain, but she pressed on, fueled by the mountain's unwavering message of resilience. As she climbed higher and higher, Greta faced moments of fear and uncertainty. But with each step she took, she drew strength from the mountain itself, knowing that it stood as a testament to the power of perseverance in the face of adversity. Finally, after days of climbing, Greta reached the summit of Everest. As she stood atop the highest peak in the world, her heart swelled with pride and accomplishment. From her vantage point, Greta could see the world spread out below her a vast tapestry of beauty and wonder. And as she gazed out at the horizon, she understood the mountain's message more deeply than ever before. For in standing tall in the face of challenges, Greta had discovered the true essence of strength, not in the absence of fear, but in the courage to face it head-on and keep climbing, one step at a time. 
And as she descended from the summit, she carried with her the mountain's message of resilience, knowing that no challenge was too great to overcome with determination and perseverance. In a tranquil meadow where wildflowers swayed in harmony, there lived a young girl named Lily who had a special connection with the world around her. She loved to spend her days exploring the wonders of nature, listening to the secrets whispered by the wind. One day, as Lily wandered through the meadow, she felt a gentle breeze caress her cheeks. She closed her eyes and listened closely, tuning into the soft murmur of the wind as it danced through the tall grasses and rustled the leaves of the trees. Listen. Lily, the breeze seemed to say, its voice as soothing as a lullaby. Listen to the voice of serenity that surrounds you. In that moment, Lily felt a sense of peace wash over her, like a warm embrace from an old friend. She realized that amidst the hustle and bustle of everyday life, there was beauty and tranquility to be found in the simple act of listening. From that day on, Lily made it a habit to pause and listen to the whispering breeze whenever she felt overwhelmed or anxious. She found solace in its gentle words, finding comfort in the knowledge that she was never alone. As the seasons changed and the years passed, Lily grew into a wise and compassionate young woman, guided by the wisdom of the whispering breeze. She shared its message of serenity with all who crossed her path, teaching them to listen to the quiet voice within and find peace amidst life's storms. And though the breeze may come and go, its message of serenity lives on in the hearts of those who listen a reminder that amidst the chaos of the world, there is always a voice of calm and tranquility waiting to be heard. In a bustling forest, there lived a young rabbit named Rosie, who was always in a hurry. She darted from one place to another, her mind filled with worries and her heart racing with anxiety. One day, while rushing through the trees, Rosie stumbled upon a serene pond hidden deep within the forest. As she gazed into the calm waters, she noticed something remarkable with a sense of stillness that enveloped the pond, as if time itself had slowed to a gentle crawl. Intrigued. Rosie approached the pond and sat by its edge, feeling the cool breeze brush against her fur and listening to the gentle rustle of the leaves overhead. For the first time in a long while, she felt a sense of peace wash over her, like a soothing balm for her troubled mind. As Rosie sat in stillness, she noticed the beauty of the world around her, the vibrant colors of the flowers, the melodious songs of the birds, and the gentle sway of the trees. She realized that in the quiet moments of stillness, there was a richness and depth to life that she had never noticed before. From that day on, Rosie made a vow to embrace stillness in her life. She learned to slow down and savor each moment, finding peace in the simple joys of nature and the quiet whispers of her own heart. As she wandered through the forest, Rosie shared the secret of stillness with her fellow animals, teaching them to find peace within themselves amidst the chaos of the world. And as they embraced stillness in their own lives, they discovered a sense of tranquility and contentment that they had never known before. And so, amidst the hustle and bustle of the forest, Rosie and her friends found solace in the secret of stillness, learning to find peace within themselves and in the beauty of the world around them. In a lush meadow beside a sparkling pond, there lived a vibrant dragonfly named Dazzle. With shimmering wings that caught the sunlight, Dazzle was known throughout the meadow for her graceful flight and joyful spirit. One day, as Dazzle flitted from flower to flower, she noticed a group of young animals gathered by the pond, watching her with wide eyes. Teach us to dance like you, Dazzle, they exclaimed, their voices filled with awe. Dazzle smiled and agreed, inviting the animals to join her in a dance. As they followed her graceful movements, Dazzle whispered a lesson that would stay with them forever. Watch me closely, my friends, she said. The key to dancing is not to think about the next step or worrying about the past. It's about living in the moment and letting the music of life guide your movements. With those words, Dazzle began to dance, her movements fluid and free. 
She soared through the air, her wings glinting in the sunlight, as the animals watched in wonder. Inspired by Dazzle's dance, the young animals joined in, letting go of their worries and surrendering to the joy of the moment. Together, they twirled and spun, their laughter echoing across the meadow. As the sun began to set and the stars emerged in the night sky, Dazzle and her friends continued to dance, their spirits lifted by the beauty of the moment. And as they danced beneath the twinkling stars, they knew that as long as they lived in the moment, they would always find joy and happiness in the world around them. In a bustling town where colorful kites filled the sky, there lived a young boy named Kai who dreamed of flying his own kite. Each day, he watched in awe as the kites soared high above, dancing with the wind. One sunny morning, Kai decided it was time to build his own kite. With paper, sticks, and string, he carefully crafted a beautiful kite, eager to see it take flight. Excitedly, Kai ran to the open field, his kite trailing behind him. As he launched it into the air, he felt a rush of exhilaration. But to his dismay, the kite faltered and plummeted to the ground. Frustrated, Kai tried again and again, but no matter how hard he tried to control the kite, it refused to fly. Defeated, he sat in the grass, watching as the other kites danced effortlessly in the sky. Just then, an old man approached Kai, his own kite soaring gracefully above him. Why so glum, young one? He asked with a gentle smile. I can't get my kite to fly, Kai sighed. I've tried everything, but it just won't work. The old man nodded knowingly. Sometimes, the harder we try to control things, the more they slip away from us, he said. Perhaps it's time to surrender to the flow of life, like the kite surrendering to the wind. With a newfound sense of understanding, Kai let go of his need to control the kite. He allowed the wind to guide it, watching in amazement as it soared higher and higher into the sky. As the kite danced with the wind, Kai realized that life, like flying a kite, was about surrendering to the natural flow of things. He learned to let go of his need for control and embrace the unpredictable beauty of life's journey. From that day on, Kai's kite soared higher than ever before, a symbol of his newfound wisdom and the joy of surrendering to life's flow. And as he watched it dance in the sky, he knew that sometimes, the greatest victories come from letting go. In a quaint garden filled with vibrant blooms, there grew a radiant sunflower named Sunny. And like the other flowers, Sunny possessed a special gift, a smile that shone as brightly as the sun itself. Every morning, as the sun rose above the horizon, Sunny would turn her face towards its warm rays and greet the day with a joyful smile. Her golden petals unfurled like a cheerful grin, spreading happiness to all who beheld her beauty. But one day, a storm swept through the garden, darkening the sky and drenching the earth with rain. The other flowers bowed their heads in despair, their petals wilting under the weight of the storm's fury. But not Sunny. Despite the gloomy skies and torrential downpour, she continued to smile, her sunny disposition and wavering even in the face of adversity. As the storm raged on, the other flowers marveled at Sunny's resilience. They realized that her smile was not simply a reflection of the sun's warmth, but a light that radiated from within a beacon of hope and happiness that could brighten even the darkest of days. Inspired by Sunny's unwavering optimism, the other flowers began to lift their drooping heads and turn towards the sky. They found strength in her smile, and together, they weathered the storm with courage and grace. And when the sun emerged once more, casting its golden rays across the garden, Sunny's smile shone brighter than ever before. For she knew that true happiness came not from external sources, but from the joy that radiated from within the lesson she shared with her fellow flowers, filling the garden with the warmth of her infectious smile. Once upon a time, in a bustling riverbed, there lay a small pebble named Pete. Amongst the multitude of rocks and stones, Pete felt insignificant. But one day, as the river surged with life, Pete was swept away on a journey he never expected. 
As Pete tumbled along the river's currents, he encountered pebbles of all shapes, sizes, and colors. Some were smooth and round, while others were jagged and rough. Despite their differences, they journeyed together, carried by the same flowing waters. Along the way, Pete learned valuable lessons from his fellow pebbles. He discovered that despite their diversity, they all shared a common purpose to journey down the river and contribute to its ever-changing landscape. One day, the river carried Pete and his companions to a bustling city, where the waters merged with the vast ocean. There, Pete witnessed a dazzling array of live fish swimming in schools, birds soaring through the sky, and people from all walks of life gathered along the shore. Amidst the hustle and bustle of the city, Pete realized the importance of unity and diversity. Just as the river brought together pebbles of different shapes and sizes, so did it unite people of different backgrounds and cultures. Inspired by the unity he witnessed, Pete embraced his own uniqueness and the diversity of those around him. He understood that each pebble, no matter how small, played a vital role in shaping the river's course, just as each person, no matter their differences, contributed to the rich tapestry of life. And so, as Pete continued his journey down the river, he did so with a newfound sense of purpose and belonging. For he knew that in unity, there was strength, and in diversity, there was beauty lessons he would carry with him on his journey through life. In the heart of a murky pond, surrounded by lily pads and reeds, there lived a small and delicate lotus flower named Luna. Despite the challenges of her environment, Luna remained determined to thrive and spread beauty in the world. Each day, Luna stretched her slender stem towards the sunlight, her petals unfurling gracefully despite the darkness that surrounded her. She drew strength from the water that enveloped her roots, using it to nourish her growth and resilience. But one day, a fierce storm swept through the pond, its powerful winds and driving rain threatening to engulf Luna and her fellow lotus blooms. As the water churned and the waves crashed around her, Luna felt herself being pulled down into the depths. With all her might, Luna fought against the raging storm, refusing to succumb to its fury. She clung to her roots and reached towards the surface, determined to rise above the adversity that threatened to engulf her. As the storm finally passed and the waters grew calm once more, Luna emerged from the depths, her petals shining brightly in the sunlight. Though battered and bruised, she had weathered the storm and emerged even stronger than before. From that day on, Luna became a symbol of resilience and perseverance, inspiring all who beheld her to rise above life's challenges and adversity. Her beauty served as a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope and the promise of brighter days ahead. And as the seasons changed and the pond bloomed with new life, Luna continued to thrive, her lotus bloom a testament to the power of resilience and the triumph of the human spirit. In the heart of a sprawling forest stood a majestic oak tree, known for and wide as the wise oak tree. Its gnarled branches reached towards the sky, and its ancient roots delved deep into the earth, connecting it to the wisdom of the ages. Animals from all corners of the forest would gather beneath the shade of the wise oak tree to seek its counsel and learn from its vast knowledge. For the wise oak tree had witnessed the passing of seasons, the rise and fall of kingdoms, and the ebb and flow of life itself. One day, a young squirrel named Sammy approached the wise oak tree, his eyes wide with curiosity. Wise oak tree, he asked, how do I know which path to take in life? The wise oak tree rustled its leaves gently in the breeze and spoke with a voice as old as time. Dear Sammy, it said, look to the world around you and listen to the whispers of nature. For within its boundless beauty lies the wisdom you seek. With those words, the wise oak tree began to share the lessons it had learned from observing the natural world. Learn from the patience of the river, Sammy, the wise oak tree said. It flows steadily and calmly, knowing that in time, it will carve its path through even the hardest of stones. And take heed of the resilience of the flowers, it continued. They bloom bravely in the face of adversity, 
their petals unfurling to embrace the sunlight and the rain. As Sammy listened to the wise oak tree's words, he felt a sense of peace and understanding wash over him. He realized that the answers he sought were not to be found in grand gestures or lofty ambitions, but in the simple yet profound wisdom of nature. From that day on, Sammy looked to the world around him with newfound reverence and appreciation. He learned to embrace the rhythm of life, trusting in the guidance of the wise oak tree and the timeless wisdom of nature itself. And as he ventured forth into the world, Sammy carried with him the lessons of the wise oak tree, knowing that with nature as his guide, he would always find his way. In a quiet village nestled between towering trees and whispering streams, there lay a mysterious path known as the Moonlit Path. This path wound its way through the dense forest, disappearing into the shadows beneath the moon's gentle glow. Legend had it that the Moonlit Path was enchanted, for those who dared to walk its winding trail were said to find themselves lost in darkness. But there was also a tale of hope that deep within the heart of the forest, a hidden light awaited, guiding travelers through the darkness and leading them safely home. One moonlit night, a brave young girl named Maya set out to explore the moonlit path. With a lantern in hand and courage in her heart, she ventured into the forest, her footsteps echoing softly on the forest floor. As Maya walked deeper into the shadows, the darkness seemed to close in around her, and she felt a shiver of fear creep down her spine. But she refused to let her courage falter, for she knew that somewhere along the path, the light of hope awaited. With each step she took, Maya felt a warmth growing within her of a light that shone from deep within her soul. She realized that the true light she sought was not external but internal, a beacon of strength and resilience that guided her through even the darkest of nights. And then, just as the darkness threatened to consume her, Maya spotted a faint glimmer in the distance, the light of hope she had been searching for. With renewed determination, she followed the light, allowing it to lead her through the shadows and into the heart of the forest. There, amidst the towering trees and rustling leaves, Maya found herself bathed in the soft glow of the hidden light. It illuminated the path before her, casting away the darkness and filling her heart with peace and joy. With the light of hope as her guide, Maya continued her journey along the moonlit path, knowing that no matter how dark the night may seem, she carried within her the inner light to navigate even the darkest of shadows. And as she walked beneath the moon's gentle gaze, she knew that she would always find her way home. In a tranquil monastery nestled amidst towering mountains, there lay a serene Zen garden known for its beauty and tranquility. One peaceful morning, as the sun bathed the garden in golden light, a group of young monks gathered to tend to its sacred grounds. Among them was a curious novice named Koji. With wide eyes and eager hands, he approached the garden, ready to learn its secrets. But as he began to rake the smooth pebbles and arrange the delicate stones, he noticed something amiss, a series of strange footprints etched into the sand. Perplexed, Koji turned to the head monk, Master Wu, and asked Master, who could have made these footprints? And why, Master Wu smiled knowingly and placed a gentle hand on Koji's shoulder. Ah, young one, the mysteries of life are like the patterns in the sand, they reveal themselves only to those who possess the patience to unravel them. With Master Wu's guidance, Koji set out to solve the Zen Garden mystery. He observed the footprints closely, noting their size and shape, and studied the surrounding area for clues. But no matter how hard he searched, the answer eluded him. Days turned into weeks, and still, the mystery remained unsolved. Frustrated and disheartened, Koji began to lose hope. But Master Wu reminded him that true understanding comes not from haste, but from patience and perseverance. He urged Koji to continue his investigation with an open mind and a calm heart. And so, Koji returned to the garden day after day, determined to unlock its secrets. He watched the wind as it whispered through the trees, listened to the song of the birds as they danced in the sky, and felt the earth beneath his feet as he walked its ancient paths. And then, one evening as the sun dipped below the horizon, Koji noticed something, the footprints in the sand had changed. 
No longer mysterious, they now formed a familiar pattern the shape of a wandering monk, his footsteps a silent prayer to the beauty of the garden. With a smile of understanding, Koji realized that the Zen garden mystery had been solved not through force or haste, but through patience and mindfulness. And as he stood amidst the tranquil beauty of the garden, he knew that life's mysteries would continue to unfold before him, revealing their secrets to those who possess the wisdom to see. In a lush meadow teeming with life, there lived a caterpillar named Coco. Coco was a curious and playful creature who spent her days munching on leaves and exploring the vibrant world around her. But deep down, Coco longed for something more she dreamed of soaring through the sky like the colorful butterflies she admired from afar. One day, as Coco crawled along a leafy branch, she stumbled upon a wise old butterfly named Bella. Bella had once been a caterpillar like Coco but had undergone a miraculous transformation to become the graceful creature she was now. Hello, little one, Bella said with a gentle smile. What brings you to this leafy perch? Coco looked up at Bella with wide eyes, her heart racing with excitement. I want to fly like you, Bella, she exclaimed. But I don't know how, Bella nodded knowingly. Ah, oh, my dear Coco, the secret lies within you, she said. You see, every caterpillar has the potential to become a butterfly. But first, you must embrace growth and change. With Bella's guidance, Coco embarked on a journey of self-discovery. She learned to shed her old ways and embrace new experiences with an open heart and mind. She spun herself a cocoon and surrendered to the transformative power of change. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months. Inside her cocoon, Coco underwent a miraculous metamorphosis, her body changing and transforming until she emerged as a breathtaking butterfly, her wings ablaze with color and light. As Coco spread her wings and took to the sky, she felt a surge of joy and exhilaration coursing through her veins. She soared through the air with grace and ease, dancing on the gentle breeze and savoring the freedom of flight. From that day on, Coco lived each moment to the fullest, embracing growth and change with a joyful heart. And though she had once been a simple caterpillar, she now knew that she was capable of anything she set her mind to for she had discovered the transformative power of embracing who she truly was. In a quaint village nestled amidst rolling hills, there lived a jovial monk known as the Laughing Buddha. With his round belly and infectious smile, he roamed the streets, spreading joy and happiness wherever he went. One day, as the Laughing Buddha strolled through the village square, he encountered a young girl named Emiya. Emiya was sitting on a bench, her face clouded with sadness. Why so glum, little one? The Laughing Buddha asked, his eyes twinkling with kindness. Emiya looked up at him, her eyes brimming with tears. I lost my favorite toy, she sniffled. I don't know where to find it. The Laughing Buddha chuckled softly and patted May's shoulder. Worrying not, my dear, he said, for happiness can be found in the most unexpected places. With a mischievous twinkle in his eye, the Laughing Buddha led Emiya on a playful scavenger hunt through the village. They searched high and low, peeking behind bushes and under benches, until at last, they stumbled upon May's lost toy nestled among a bed of colorful flowers in the village garden. May's face lit up with joy as she clutched her toy tightly to her chest. Thank you, Laughing Buddha, she exclaimed, her laughter ringing through the air. But the Laughing Buddha's work was far from over. With Emiya by his side, he continued to spread happiness throughout the village, performing silly dances and sharing jokes with everyone they met. As the sun began to set and the villagers gathered in the town square, the Laughing Buddha stood before them, his laughter echoing through the night. Dear friends, he said, his voice filled with warmth, remember that happiness is not found in possessions or wealth, but in the simple joys of life for the laughter of friends, the beauty of nature, and the kindness of strangers. And as the villagers joined hands and danced beneath the stars, they knew in their hearts that the Laughing Buddha was right. 
for true happiness, they realized, was not something to be sought after, but something to be shared with others, spreading joy and laughter wherever it goes. In a bustling village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a young girl named Lily. Lily had a heart as bright as the sun, and her kindness shone like a beacon to all who knew her. One day, while exploring the forest on the outskirts of the village, Lily stumbled upon a small, forgotten garden hidden among the trees. As she wandered through the overgrown paths, she noticed a single, wilted flower struggling to survive amidst the tangled weeds. With a gentle touch, Lily carefully removed the weeds and watered the parched soil, breathing new life into the neglected garden. Days passed, and Lily returned to the garden each morning, tending to the flowers with love and care. With each passing day, the garden bloomed with vibrant colors, its beauty a testament to Lily's compassion. One evening, as Lily sat beneath the stars, a soft voice whispered on the breeze. Thank you, Lily, it said. Your kindness has awakened something within me. Startled, Lily looked around, but there was no one in sight. Confused yet curious, she returned to the garden the next morning, only to find a single seed nestled among the flowers. Puzzled, Lily planted the seed in the fertile soil and watched as it began to grow. With each passing day, the seedling stretched its tender shoots towards the sun, its leaves unfurling like delicate petals. As the seedling grew into a towering tree, its branches spread wide, offering shade and shelter to all who sought refuge beneath its boughs. And in the heart of the tree, nestled among its roots, lay a single, glowing seed, the seed of compassion that Lily had unknowingly planted. With each act of kindness, the seed of compassion grew within Lily, spreading its roots deep into her heart and blossoming into a boundless love for all living things. And as she walked through the village, her footsteps left a trail of kindness in their wake, inspiring others to cultivate compassion in their own lives. From that day on, the village flourished with the spirit of compassion, its people united by a shared commitment to kindness and empathy. And though Lily never knew the true origins of the tree that stood at the heart of the village, she knew that its roots ran deep within her, nourished by the endless cycle of love and compassion that bound her to the world around her. In the heart of a lush forest, there lay a hidden pond known as the Mirror Pond. Its surface was as smooth as glass, reflecting the towering trees and vibrant flowers that surrounded it. But the true magic of the Mirror Pond lay not in its pristine waters, but in its ability to reflect the inner beauty of those who gazed into it. One day, a young deer named Daisy stumbled upon the Mirror Pond as she roamed through the forest. Curious, she approached the water's edge and peered into its depths. But instead of seeing her own reflection, Daisy saw a vision of herself as she truly was a kind, compassionate, and filled with boundless love for the world around her. Amazed by what she saw, Daisy returned to the mirror pond day after day, eager to catch another glimpse of her inner beauty. With each visit, she discovered new facets of her self-courage in the face of adversity, strength in times of doubt, and resilience in the midst of hardship. Word of the Mirror Pond's magic spread throughout the forest, drawing creatures of all shapes and sizes to its tranquil shores. Each one gazed into the water and saw themselves not as they appeared on the outside, but as the beautiful beings they were within. But one day, a vain and selfish fox named Felix stumbled upon the Mirror Pond, ignoring the warnings of the other animals. He approached the water's edge and peered into its depths with a smug grin. To Felix's horror, the reflection that stared back at him was not the handsome creature he believed himself to be, but a twisted vision of his inner ugliness, greed, deceit, and cruelty. Enraged, Felix slashed out at the mirror pond, shattering its surface into a thousand pieces. But as the shard scattered across the forest floor, something miraculous happened. From each broken fragment, a new pond emerged, reflecting the inner beauty of every creature who gazed into its waters. And so, the forest was filled with countless mirror ponds, each one a reminder of the beauty that lies within us all. And though Felix never found the redemption he sought, 
The creatures of the forest continued to gather at the mirror ponds, finding solace and inspiration in the reflection of their innermost selves. In a small village nestled at the foot of a majestic mountain range, there lived a young boy named Alex. Alex had a heart as big as the sky above, but his mind was often filled with worries and anxieties. Every day, Alex would climb to the top of a nearby hill and lie in the soft grass, gazing up at the ever-changing clouds drifting lazily across the sky. He watched as they danced and shifted, forming shapes and patterns that seemed to tell stories of distant lands and forgotten dreams. One day, as Alex lay on the hillside, his mind weighed down by worries about the future, he noticed a figure standing beside him. It was an old man with a twinkle in his eye and a smile that seemed to light up the sky. Hello, young one, the old man said kindly. What brings you to this hilltop? I come here to watch the clouds, Alex replied, his voice tinged with sadness. But lately, I can't seem to shake my worries. The old man nodded knowingly. Ah, oh, the clouds are wonderful teachers, he said. They remind us that just as worries drift across the sky, so too can we let go of them and find peace in the present moment. Alex listened intently as the old man shared his wisdom. He learned that worrying about tomorrow only robbed him of the joys of today, and that true happiness could only be found by letting go of his fears and embracing the beauty of the here and now. From that day on, Alex became known as the Cloud Watcher. Each morning, he would climb to the hilltop and watch as the clouds painted pictures across the sky. And whenever worries crept into his mind, he would imagine them drifting away on the breeze, carried off into the endless expanse of the heavens. As Alex grew older, he carried the lessons of the Cloud Watcher with him wherever he went. And though storms may rage and shadows may fall, he knew that as long as he looked to the sky, he would always find peace in the ever-changing beauty of the clouds above. Once upon a time, in a serene marshland, there lived a graceful crane named Clara. Clara wasn't like any other crane in the marsh. While her fellow cranes spent their days fishing and wading through the water, Clara loved to dance. Every morning, as the sun rose over the marsh, Clara would spread her wings and twirl gracefully amidst the reeds and lily pads. Her movements were fluid and elegant, a mesmerizing sight to behold. But the other cranes didn't understand Clara's passion for dance. They would watch her from afar, shaking their heads in disapproval. Why does Clara waste her time with such frivolous activities? They would whisper amongst themselves, but Clara paid them no mind. She danced for the sheer joy of it, losing herself in the rhythm of the marsh. One day, a group of travelers passed through the marsh, their eyes drawn to Clara's enchanting dance. Look at that crane, one of the travelers exclaimed. She moves as though she's a part of the wind itself. The travelers watched in awe as Clara pirouetted and leapt, her wings outstretched like delicate ribbons in the breeze. Inspired by Clara's beauty and grace, the travelers joined in her dance, their laughter echoing across the marsh. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Clara and the travelers bid each other farewell. But before they left, the travelers bestowed upon Clara a gift a garland of wildflowers woven with strands of moonlight. This is for you, Clara, they said. To honor your individuality and the beauty of your dance, with tears of joy in her eyes, Clara accepted the gift, knowing that she had found kindred spirits who understood and appreciated her for who she truly was. From that day on, Clara continued to dance in the marsh, her movements a testament to the power of embracing one's individuality. And though the other cranes still didn't understand her passion, they couldn't deny the joy and beauty that Clara's dance brought to their beloved marshland. In a bustling village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a young girl named Maya. Maya was known for her curious nature and adventurous spirit. One day, as she explored the forest surrounding her village, she stumbled upon a quaint little tea shop tucked away among the trees. Intrigued, 
Maya pushed open the creaky door and stepped inside. The shop was cozy and inviting, filled with the soothing aroma of freshly brewed tea. At the center of the room, an elderly man sat behind a small wooden table, his weathered hands carefully pouring tea into delicate porcelain cups. Welcome, young traveler, the old man greeted Maya with a warm smile. Would you care for a cup of tea? Yes, please, Maya replied eagerly, taking a seat across from the old man. He poured her a cup of steaming tea, but to Maya's surprise, the cup was empty. Um, sir, there seems to be a mistake, Maya said, puzzled. The old man chuckled softly. Ah, uh, but my dear, there is no mistake. This cup may appear empty, but it holds something far more precious than tea. Confused, Maya tilted her head, waiting for the old man to explain. This cup represents the power of openness, the old man continued. You see, when our cups are full of preconceived notions, judgments, and expectations, there is no room for anything else. But when we approach life with an empty cup, we create space for new experiences, wisdom, and understanding to flow in. Maya pondered the old man's words, realizing that her own cup was often filled with worries about the future and regrets from the past. She realized that by clinging to these burdens, she was closing herself off to the beauty and wonder of the world around her. Determined to discover the power of openness, Maya embarked on a journey of self-discovery. She learned to let go of her fears and doubts, embracing each moment with curiosity and wonder. As she traveled through the village and beyond, Maya encountered people from all walks of life each with their own stories, struggles, and triumphs. With an open heart and mind, Maya listened to their tales, finding beauty in their diversity and wisdom in their words. With each passing day, Maya's cup became lighter, filled not with the weight of the past but with the promise of the present. And as she sat once again in the old man's tea shop, sipping from her seemingly empty cup, Maya understood the true power of openness, the power to transform her life and the world around her. Once upon a time, in a tranquil valley, there flowed a clear and gentle river. Along the river's banks, there lay a collection of smooth stones, each one unique in shape and color. Among these stones, there lived a wise old rock named Rolo. Rolo had seen many seasons come and go, and he understood the nature of the world around him. One day, a young stone named Stella came to him, her surface shining with youthful vigor. Rolo, Stella said with a hint of worry, I fear what the future may hold, will I always remain as I am I? Rolo smiled warmly and beckoned Stella to sit beside him. My dear Stella, he began, let me share with you the story of the river stones and the lesson they teach us about embracing impermanence. Long ago, the river stones believed that they would last forever, unchanged and eternal. But as time passed, they began to notice something peculiar. The gentle current of the river wall away on their surfaces, smoothing rough edges and falling their shapes. At first, the stones resisted, clinging to the idea of permanence. But as they surrendered to the flow of the river, they realized that change was not something to be feared but embraced. Each transformation brought new beauty and revealed hidden depths within them. Like the river stones, Stella, Rolo continued, we must embrace the impermanence of life. Just as the river shapes the stones, time shapes us, molding us into who we are meant to be. Stella listened intently, her worries fading away as she embraced Rolo's wisdom. She understood that change was not something to be feared but a natural part of life's journey. From that day on, Stella lived each moment fully, knowing that each passing day brought new experiences and opportunities for growth. And as she journeyed down the river of life, she carried with her the timeless lesson of the river stones to embrace impermanence and find beauty in the ever-changing world around her. And so, in the tranquil valley, the river continued to flow, carrying with it the wisdom of the ages and the gentle reminder that life, like the river stones, is a journey of constant transformation. In the heart of a vast, green valley, there grew a grove of towering bamboo trees. 
Among them lived a wise old panda named Po, known throughout the valley as the Bamboo Whisperer. Po possessed a deep understanding of the bamboo's secrets and the lessons it held. One day, a young panda named Emiya approached Po, her eyes filled with worrying. Master Po, she said, I feel weak and uncertain. I don't know how to face the challenges ahead. Po smiled gently and motioned for Emiya to sit beside him beneath the swaying bamboo. My dear Amiai, Po began, let me tell you the story of the bamboo and its secret to finding strength. Long ago, there was a mighty oak tree standing tall and proud in the valley. It boasted of its strength and inflexibility, looking down upon the swaying bamboo with disdain. But one day, a powerful storm swept through the valley, with fierce winds and lashing rain. The oak tree stood firm against the storm, its branches resisting the wind. But despite its strength, the oak could not withstand the relentless force of the storm. It cracked and splintered, falling to the ground in defeat. Meanwhile, the bamboo swayed gracefully in the wind, bending and flexing with each gust. Its slender stalks danced like a symphony, never breaking under the storm's fury. When the storm passed, the bamboo remained standing tall and unharmed, its strength found in its flexibility. As Po finished his tale, May's eyes widened in understanding. I see, Master Po, she exclaimed. The bamboo teaches us that true strength lies in flexibility, not rigidity. Indeed, Emiai Po nodded. Life will bring many challenges, but if you learn to bend without breaking, you will always find the strength to endure. Inspired by Po's words, Emiai embraced the wisdom of the bamboo. She learned to face each challenge with flexibility and resilience, knowing that she carried the strength of the bamboo whisperer within her. And so, the valley echoed with the whispers of the bamboo, reminding all who listened that in the face of adversity, true strength is found in the ability to bend and adapt. Once upon a time, in a lush green forest, there lived a turtle named Tilly. Tilly wasn't like any other turtle in the forest. While her friends, the rabbits, squirrels, and birds, were always in a hurry, Tilly loved to take her time. She believed in the power of slow and steady progress. One sunny morning, as Tilly basked in the warmth of the sun, she heard the birds chirping excitedly about a race that was going to take place in the forest. All the animals were invited, and the prize was a shiny trophy. Tilly wasn't interested in racing, but her friends persuaded her to join. They laughed at her slow pace, but Tilly smiled and said, slow and steady wins the race. As the race began, the animals dashed off, leaving Tilly far behind. Along the way, they encountered obstacles, thorny bushes, slippery rocks, and steep hills. The animals hurriedly tried to overcome these challenges, but they often stumbled and fell. Meanwhile, Tilly moved forward at her own pace, carefully navigating each obstacle. She didn't rush, instead, she focused on each step she took. As the race progressed, the other animals grew tired and discouraged. Some even gave up halfway through, but Tilly kept going, her determination unwavering. Eventually, Tilly reached the finish line, she may not have been the fastest, but she was the only one who completed the race without any mishaps. The animals were amazed. They realized that Tilly's slow and steady approach had triumphed over their haste. They congratulated her and admitted that they had underestimated her. From that day on, the animals in the forest learned to appreciate the value of patience and perseverance. They understood that rushing through life didn't always lead to success. And as for Tilly, she continued to wander through the forest, spreading the timeless lesson, slow and steady wins the race. <laughs>